It's science time again! Hello, our dear learners! This video is about changes in matter through application of it. And this is based on Science 5 Belt. Let's start! Let's review on the changes that materials undergo. As the saying goes, the only constant in this world is change. Changes that occur in matter can be classified as physical change or chemical change. What is physical change? It occurs when a substance changes in appearance or state without changing its composition or what it's made of. Physical change does not involve any chemical reaction. The substance may only change its size, shape, or phase, but the original characteristics of it remain the same. Let's have some examples. First, we have cutting strips of paper. It is an example of physical change since the composition of the paper it is still the same. Just change its size and shape. Next, we have slicing a piece of cake and melting ice cube, which shows change in phase from solid to liquid. What is chemical change? It happens when the composition of a substance changes and results in the formation of new substance. Chemical change involves chemical reactions. Evidences of it are the following. Formation of new products, release of gas or bubbles, production of sound or electrical energy, and change in the substance color, taste, odor, and texture. Let's have some examples. Baking cookies is an example of chemical change since there is a change in taste, color, odor, and texture of the combined ingredients. Aside from it, the chemical properties of the cookies can no longer return to their original identity because they form a new composition. Ripening of fruits, such as mango, is an example of chemical change. There is a change in color, texture, odor, and taste, which are very evident in this example of chemical change. Frying an egg is also an example of chemical change. True heat, the egg is undergone chemical change by cooking. You can bring back the egg into its liquid form before it is cooked because chemical change is irreversible. Now, let's tackle changes in matter through application of heat. What is heat? It is a form of energy that causes substances to rise in temperature, fuse, evaporate, expand, or undergo any of various other related changes that is transferred from one body to another. In simpler terms, heat is described as how high the temperature is. It is the energy that flows from hotter to a cooler object. The sun is the main source of heat and light on Earth. Heat can bring physical and chemical changes in matter. Let's have some examples on 
how heat can bring physical change. First, we have the melting of an ice cream. Some solid materials melt when heat is applied, like the melting of an ice cream. Melting is the change of a solid substance into a liquid. The reverse process, when heat is removed, liquid can turn into solid. It's called freezing. Next, drying of clothes under the heat of the sun is another example of physical change. When we hang our wet laundry under the sun, the clothes become dry. This means that the water in the clothes evaporated. Evaporation is the process by which a liquid turns into a gas or vapor. Boiling water in the pot is an example of physical change. When water boils, it changes into steam or gas. It is physical because molecules of water are not chemically altered during the process. Now, let's tackle how heat can cause chemical change. First example, we have baking a chocolate cake. Heat energy is being absorbed by the combined ingredients in the batter of the cake. A chemical change occurred resulting to change in color, odor, taste, and texture of the batter after it was baked. Therefore, a new product is formed. A yummy chocolate cake is a product of chemical change. Next, we have burning wood. New substances form after the wood is burned. The wood changes chemically to carbon dioxide when it burns and leaves a residue of ashes. And last, we have roasting a chicken. It is also an example of chemical change. Many cooking methods such as roasting, frying, grilling and baking involves chemical change. Now, let's try! Identify if the following changes brought by heat is physical or chemical. First, we have bread toasted in the oven. Is it physical or chemical? Correct! The answer is chemical. Heat causes the bread to change its color, taste, and texture, which are evidence of chemical change. How about this one? Palai or anhas rice dried under the heat of the sun. Very good! The answer is physical. No new substances form. The heat coming from the sun caused the anhas rice or palai to be dried. Next, fireworks lighted on a New Year's Eve. Great! This is an example of chemical change. about dried leaves burn in the backyard. Correct! This is an example of chemical change. And last one we have chocolate melted due to high temperature. That's right! This is an example of physical change. Remember, the application of heat to materials can alter their physical properties as well as their chemical properties. Some changes brought about by heat are reversible while others are 
irreversible. There you have it! Join me again in another knowledge build discussion, only here on Sir Mel and Mom Ed's tutorial. Have a great day! Thank you.